making sure to put my phone <laughs> on um, Do Not Disturb. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Tuesday. I was looking for my picture taking phone, but we'll go ahead and get started. Um, hello again, good morning. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, in today's class, I'm going to be recreating something I saw on Bon Appetit. If you like smoked salmon, if you like bagels, I've got a substitute version. Hey, good morning, Val. Um, I've got a substitute version that I wanna try. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, in case anybody doesn't know, I'm chronicling my health and wellness journey, but you know, this is really turning into a cooking channel and we're building a community of those of us who like to eat and uh, wanna have, you know, good tasting food that's actually good for you. So for me specifically, I've been tested for food sensitivities. I've got a list back there on the fridge of the foods that I can have and the foods that I have to avoid. So all of my substitutions are basically about substituting the foods that I used to love for the foods that love me back. So I haven't gotten my stuff prepped yet. We're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and then we'll get started on our smoked salmon bagel. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and get the ingredients out. And I'll walk you guys through everything as usual. to a hey amethyst um, going to do one of my favorite types of cooking if you will we're basically going to assemble and I'll talk you guys through it if you can have all the full flavor ingredients please do and enjoy them for me uh, but I'll be doing the substitute version I think I'm gonna start with some coffee and I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing as well all right so for coffee We'll do the first unboxing. Something came in today, well actually yesterday. Um, you guys have seen me talk about uh, skinny syrups all the time. I think, I don't know if the brand is Skinny Mixes, Jordan Skinny Mixes, but they have, um, if you like a nice cocktail, they've got, you know, cocktail. Oh, thank you. I was thinking about getting rid of this uh, shirt. Um, thank you, thank you. But uh, I wasn't sure, y'all know what they say about horizontal stripes, like making you look bigger so I was like you know maybe if I put a um this is not what this is about but I was like maybe if I put like a cardigan over it but I don't know I mean we'll see open or close so you saw it closed I don't know if I leave it you know open tell me okay but thank you um I appreciate the compliment thank you thank you so much um okay Yes, so I got a package yesterday. So Skinny Mixes, you guys, <laughs> you guys have seen me use their syrups. I use it in beverages. I've used it in the yogurt when I make the fruit dip. Uh, I love it. It's a great sugar-free, uh, calorie-free um, flavor for beverages and probably other stuff. Uh, anyone who's new here, you're going to hear me talking about beverages and condiments. Um, so for me, I've been tested for food sensitivities, which was a cheek swab on the inside and then some hair samples. And so that's how I have a list of foods that I'm sensitive to. And you know, I've been thinking about this. Sensitive just means it's not necessarily an allergy. I'm not deathly um, allergic to anything. I mean, if you guys followed me, we just came back from spring break and I ate everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> rice and beans and plantains and all of that stuff. And I put on, you know, according to the scale, it said, oh my God, this is embarrassing, like 11 pounds. But I've already lost five of it. It's not real weight that you put on. It's really just, you know, the bloat and the inflammation that comes from all the sugar and all those other ingredients. So your body, you eat what you eat and there's some things that your body processes, you know, really well and you're running like a race car. Uh, and there's some things that take a while for your body to process. And while you're starting to, um, while you're trying to work through it, you're swelling, you're bloating. I had joint pain. Some people have skin issues, migraines, all kind of stuff. So, you know, this has been a game changer for me because I've always struggled with weight, but now I have the information and so I can make decisions, um, you know, informed decisions. Okay, so I pretty much try to avoid sugar at all costs. Anything that I eat that has sugar, the label, I do look at that. I'm supposed to have under six grams of sugar. So this coffee creamer that I have, you can see it says four grams of sugar. I'm not strict on calories or carbs. I work with my list of approved foods. Okay. So I'm always on the hunt for stuff that I can have that's, um, you know, not going to be on my no-no list. So the Skinny Mixes, I'm going to open it, arrived yesterday. They have, uh, you can get them at like Ross and Marshalls, you know, those stores that have like the home goods stuff in the back. You can also buy directly from the website and they have a subscription service, which you guys know I love the auto ships because it just kind of puts it on, um, takes my brain turns my brain off for one thing. All right, so you guys have seen me use this. I just wanted to show you it came in. So this is the vanilla. This is a concentrated liquid, um, vanilla flavor. I'm gonna put some in my coffee. Um, they have vanilla, they have mocha, and they have caramel. All right, so let's start with coffee. So I'm just using a regular, I think this is Whole Foods, yeah. Whole Foods, just Riviera Rose, had some great coffee in Costa Rica. I always start with my alkaline drops. I did not have these with me in Costa Rica, but my test results said I'm more acidic, which just means I need to have more alkaline water. I was drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, and it would just go through me. It wouldn't stay to hydrate me. Um, <laughs> yeah, you like Ross, I know, right? Um, it wouldn't stay to hydrate me, so I just put in a couple of drops. I know my lipstick's on there, sorry. Shouldn't show that. But anyway, this is not a real cooking show. I'm just a home cooker. But it turns regular water into alkaline water. All right. And I can't have dairy. That came up on my list of sensitivities. So I've changed to um, almond milk or coconut milk creamers. So I'm using this one. This one is uh, a sweet cream. It does have a little bit of sugar, but it's four and I stay under six. So I like my coffee light and sweet. Um, and then I'm going to put the pod in and I like to brew into my, um, creamer. Woo! Y'all sometimes. So I'm going to open one of these, uh, vanilla flavor bursts just for a little squirt. Oh my God, are my eyes bad? I'm trying to see, you know how it's hard to start the little, you know, tear on here sometimes. Okay. So just little tear. Y'all know what a pop top is. If that's even what this is called. But these are great. They don't have to be refrigerated. I keep them in the car. I keep, in the, keep them in the purse. Um, so whenever I'm out and about, I always order my beverages unsweet. So zero sugar, zero calories, just a little squirt. Now we're ready to make coffee. Okay, y'all, me in this water situation with the Keurig. So that's just something to keep in mind. I use these all the time, so I get them shipped. I think the three pack is like $17. They have coupons all the time. Um, but you can avoid a lot of extra calories and sugar with changing your beverages. Um, you can get the variety pack, coffee, I'm sorry, sorry, mocha, caramel, or vanilla. I do vanilla because it's just, you know, pretty neutral and it goes with everything. Yes, Belle, you like your coffee with your cream? I know, I like it light and sweet. Hey, if you're a dark roast,
black, no sugar, no cream or whatever, please have at it. Uh, I think my ex-husband liked his coffee that way. It's too strong for me. I like it light and sweet. All right. So let's put these up. So let's see. We are going to do, I don't know if anybody likes a smoked salmon bagel, but I saw um, a, a recipe, if you will, on Bon Appetit. You guys know I work from home, thankfully. Um, it's really helping me to age gracefully, and you guys are here to help keep me accountable. But uh, I like to keep the cooking channels on the TV on, on mute during the day. So I'm always seeing food, and you know, it all, it started off with me saying, oh man, that looks so amazing, but I can't have that. But now my substitutions and my creativity allow me to see a recipe and then recreate it in a way with ingredients that I can have. So that's what we're gonna do today. And you know what the beverages and stuff, you can get all those different flavored uh, syrups. Me and this uh, Costa Rica <laughs> apron. I probably need to tie it back there a little bit. I don't need this to make a bagel, but I just, why not? Feeling festive. All right, let me get a cutting board. Oh, still in the dishwasher. So if you guys were on yesterday when I made the CPK uh, duplicate, hey Amethyst, um, if you guys were on, you saw that we use these as the pizza crust. These are the cauliflower sandwich thins. I just have an open pack in here that I put in a Ziploc bag. So we're gonna use that as our bagel. Let me get my coffee. I've been told I'm a pretty good barista. I go with color. Um, you know, I always tell you guys, like I was told, use all of your senses to cook. And so I look for this kind of like, hmm, paper sack brown, I guess, I don't know. <sighs> Yummy, taste, good. All right, so I can't have gluten that came up on my no-no list. So I have to do a lot of substitutes for start starches. And, um, you know, like I said, I went um, on spring break and I ate a lot of starches. And, you know, obviously I'm fine. You know, I'm getting the vacation weight off. But I did kind of have that, like, not in my stomach. I am used to just eating what my body breaks down well. And so, like, you know, when you eat something and you just kind of, it sits there on you. And the next day you still kind of feel full. Like, I would press on my stomach and I would just feel that knot. So... This is what works for me. All right, focus, Maggie. So we're gonna do two bagels, that's the portion size. So again, you guys saw these yesterday. Oh, I have one with a little bit of oil on it. But you can see these are the uh, cauliflower sandwich thins. To be completely transparent, I got excited when I bought them and I didn't look at all of the ingredients and it does say, hey, CK, it does say here, it has Parmesan and cauliflower. So they do use a little bit of cheese as a binder. Um, if you guys have seen me make the chaffle, you know I use goat's cheese because I'm supposed to avoid cow dairy, but I am going to go ahead and use this um, and then we'll find something else that doesn't have dairy because I, I have to avoid it, but a little bit, it's not going to kill me. All right, so this is going to be my bagel substitute. So we used these as pizza crust yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the air fryer just as is because I want them to crisp up. I don't know about you guys, but I love a bagel that's like toasted and crunchy and then you bite into it with the cream cheese and the smoked salmon and the capers and the red onion and the lemon and tomato. Okay, see, it's already starting. All right, so let's put these in the air fryer. We're gonna to toast them up. Didn't unpack the dishwasher. I've still got stuff in here. I'm gonna do my foil cover just for easy cleanup. If you have a toaster, if you guys um, wanna look at the original, if you can have full flavor, just Google Bon Appetit smoked salmon um, in the thumbnail. 
that I put up is the screenshot from the video. So you'll be able to see how he did it. He actually made his own smoked salmon. I bought some. Um, what else? But yeah, he just put his bagel slices or he used a, a muesli, uh, like a different kind of bread. If you've ever gotten that Starbucks, the, um, the protein boxes, they have one that's an egg and cheese protein box, and it comes with like a little soft roll that has like dates and raisins in it. To me, it's excellent. So that's what he used. And if you just have a regular toaster, you can put these in the toaster just like you would a bagel. I don't have a toaster. I use the air fryer for everything, to bake, to toast, to whatever. So I'm just putting them on here straight, no oil, and we're going to put these in uh, just to crisp them up. So again, for anyone who's hopping on, we're using our cauliflower sandwich thins. That's going to be my substitute for the bagel. If you can have a full bagel, please have some and have some for me. All of these recipes come from, you know, food that I would make for the family or I would make for you if you don't have any sensitivities. Um, but this is a way, you know, because we all, I do, want to look forward to our food. And this is a way that you can enjoy your food without the guilt and stay on track. All right, so let's put this up. I'm going to take the apron off. I don't think I need it for a bagel. I was just feeling festive. All right, so let's see. What other ingredients do we have here? So we've got our coffee going. Um, I'll let you guys choose. For fruit, I have an apple, I have an orange, and I have blueberries. So we can either do blueberries and whipped cream. We could do some pan fried apples with butter and cinnamon sugar. Or I could do another fruit cup with the orange slices and the fruit dip. So you pick blueberries, apples, or uh, oranges. All right, so this is what I have. I'm trying to go through this um, fish. God, I hope it's still good. All right, whew, just checking. So smoked salmon, there's a process that they use, obviously, to smoke it. I think this one just came from BJ's. Um, but, you know, whenever I have seafood, I want to try and, yeah. That's how they preserve it. Um, if you're new to sushi, I'm not a sushi connoisseur, but this is probably the safest Thing for me but you can have it without meat as well so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it up they cut it really thin into little sheets okay fruit cup amethyst um, <laughs> CK you like your coffee with cream and sugar yes you got it I love I've been told I'm a pretty good barista so I love making all that stuff I used to not like coffee I guess as I got older I'm a one uh, cup per day so amethyst says the fruit cup. All right, so let me get my orange. I had one left in the bowl, so this is good. We'll use this orange and get this washed. This is the kind of stuff I keep on the counter. I just try and get a nice decorative bowl. And when I have fruits, I'll show you. Just apples in a wire basket. These are on the counter. Lemons in a glass bowl. These are on the counter. You guys have seen us zest for the crab cakes. I'm going to squeeze some. I cut some up yesterday. Good for teas. We're going to squeeze some on our uh, bagel. But I like to keep this stuff on the counter so that it's um, top of mind. Of course, all the snacks and stuff are in the pantry, but um, you got to go to them. And I keep the good stuff out where I can see All right, so let's get our ingredients together. So we've got our salmon. So I'm envisioning in my mind the episode that I watched and I'm trying to remember that thumbnail. So it was a bagel or your bread. For me, it's gonna be cauliflower. He had cream cheese, you guys already know. So I can't have cream cheese. This is one of my absolute favorites, this Chabri. I hope I'm saying it right, but this is a goat's milk cheese. It is a soft, creamy 
white cheese. This is a great cream cheese substitute for me. It's very mild. You can get it at Publix. You can get it, I ordered it in online in bulk, but um, it gives me that nice creamy soft cheese experience. It's gonna go really well with the smoked salmon. All right, red onion. You guys saw we used this yesterday on the CPK uh, recipe. So I'm just gonna slice it thin because um, I'm just trying to imagine a few strips of red onion. All right, just gonna check on my bagel. All right. And you guys see me do this all the time. That's what my mom taught me. You take stuff out and you look at it. I mean, unless you're doing like a crock pot or a souffle, but I'm looking for color. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, so you see they're starting to get a little brown and then I'm also feeling them for texture. Um, they're still a little soft. Now, again, this is vegetable, so it's not going to crisp like bread, but I'm going to put them in there a little bit more because I like, uh, I don't know how you all like your bagels, but I like them to be, you know, pretty structured well. So it's going to hold that cream cheese and that salmon and all the yummy. So don't be afraid to get in there, touch it, you know, see how it's doing, look at it, you know, put it back in there or take it out if it looks good. All right, so I want the nice little rings on my red onion. So I'm just gonna do one slice across this way and then just kind of break it apart so I can have that nice little garnish on my bagel. <laughs> I love onion. I'm just going down like this. Um, if you don't have If you're not really confident in your knife skills, you guys have seen me use this. This is great for safety and it's also good to make little slices. It's um, This one is Pampered Chef, but you literally can just pop it in here. Tomato, onion, anytime you want equal portions. And then you use your knife to go through and cut down through those so you have equal slices. Since I'm just doing a little bit, I was able to get one nice little slice. But I'll always, y'all know me and my gadgets. I'll always give you tips on um, things that work for me. I think I hear the trash. Mm, today's trash day. I'm like, what is that big truck outside? Clean it up. I'm nosy. I'm going to go see. I don't know why I like to see that truck do its thing. I think it's weird. I just get it from the boys. You know, when they were little, they would see stuff that we see all the time, like a train going across the tracks or construction. And, you know, little kids, it's like their eyes light up. Mommy, look at that cream. <sighs> now they're teenagers. And yeah. Okay. Anyway, focus, Maggie. So I'm going to cut my onion. Um, I'm just going to cut it in half. And I want like these little half circle pieces. So I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm trying to, y'all know presentation. I'm trying to make it nice. So we cut it in half and then I'm just going to kind of shred off the little rings of red onion. And that's what I'm going to put on our uh, bagel. All right. Um, I love onion. I love it sauteed on a burger. I love it, um, you know, on a steak mushrooms. Um, I don't really like red onion. I mean, I really, I really don't like raw onion, but the red onion to me is milder. Um, so if I'm going to eat raw, this is probably the safest bet. The yellow one, I have it, but I prefer to cook with that. And then you can prep your veggies down and just have them in the little meal prep containers. Like if I had sliced the whole red onion, so you have it ready to grab and go. All right, let's go check on our bagel again. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. You guys can see now it's starting to get that just before it gets a little, we call it Cajun, but I can also listen the way that it hits the pan. I hear, I know it's weird, but I hear that crispiness. So, okay, so we're gonna, we're done with our bagel. I think I can assemble. It's just cream cheese. Ah, let me just cut the capers really quick. 
turn that off. So I am going to be using some capers. This is just from Walmart. Um, it's a briny, pickly kind of taste. Optional if you don't like it. Aw, CK, actually I have not. Thank you for asking that question. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I'm getting a teaspoon. I love the little community that we're building, but to be really honest with you guys, you know, I'm very intentional about what we do here and what we don't do here. Um, I've learned that you can, you know, you can learn a lot by what people do and what they don't do. Um, I know there's a lot going on in the world and there's a lot that's trending on the news, but this is where I decide to uh, focus. Um, Cause I know some people, you know, come here for an escape. Um, but thank you for the question. Okay, what was I doing? Capers. All right, I'm trying to get my teaspoon in here, y'all, but it's too big, so I'm just, I'm just getting a little um, chopstick. I'm gonna put some capers out in this little teaspoon. Again, it's just a little pickly garnish. I like it. Um, I don't know what they are. I think they're little seeds or flowers or something, but they have them in this little juice. I've put them on my um, bagel before whole, but on the Bon Appetit, because I'm trying to be fancy. Um, he did just kind of chop them a little bit. I know it's weird, they're already small, but I'm just gonna kind of go through them. I'm not even really doing much. All right, that's just a little. All right, so we've got our red onion, we got our capers. Okay, y'all are having side conversation, and that is fine. In my class, feel free to multitask. All right, let's get our plate. I like using simple square plates just because they're different and they make me feel fancy because I have one of them and it makes me feel special. I have the round dinner plates for everybody else, but I'm cooking for one. All right, so let's start with our bagels. So keeping them on the wire rack, they um, they cool and they crisp. So I'm trying to do better. I know Uncle Stu told me I don't hold the food up long enough. But again, these are the cauliflower sandwich thins. The brand is Outer Isle. I got them from Costco. So this is what I'm using as my bagel. If you can have a full bagel, please do. Cream cheese. If you can have full flavor dairy, have cream cheese. I am going to do the Chabri. It's open. See, it's just nice and thick. All right. And to me, this is a good one because it's soft right out of the fridge. So I'm going to put a nice schmear on. <laughs> and because the bagel is warm in my hand, it's already making the cream cheese kind of uh, soften. Uh, thank you, Bill. I appreciate that. And you guys, you know, honestly, I'm intentional. You know, um, I've, I've taken lead attorney's class and... Um, you know, thinking about what I do, my content is, you know, how he describes as evergreen. I know there are some YouTube channels. So we've got one schmear down. I know there are some YouTube channels that are, you know, trending on current topics and all of that. And that's fine. But to be honest with you guys, sometimes I go back in my own like Instagram or my own videos and I'm like, oh, I haven't had that in a while. Let me make that again or let me change it up a little bit um, because I'm cooking all the time. So for me, it's easy to, you know, just, you know, turn the camera on when I'm, I would be making this breakfast anyway. Hey, uh, I know Uncle Stu, he's amazing. He did, um, in my opinion, a really wonderful interview uh, with me. Hopefully you guys got a chance to see it. So please support him. He's a wonderful statesman in the community and doing great work. Um, but yeah, I like for my content to be evergreen. So whatever time of day or time of year that you're watching, um, hopefully you'll learn something and it'll be helpful for you. Um, I'm aware of what's going on, but I just choose to focus on what I do best. All right, guys. So we've got our bagel with our goat's cheese. If you can have cream cheese, please do. 
So again, you saw me smear on, and because the bagel was warm, the cream, the goat's cheese is already starting to soften. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm using. And you know, just to be fancy, I just thought of something. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on lightly. Uh, I don't know if this was in the Bon Appetit, but I have this bagel seasoning, which is like sesame seeds and I think salt and pepper, just a little bit to have that bagel experience. So you can get this at Walmart, Trader Joe's, wherever. It's called everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'm just putting it on, you know, before we layer. Why? I don't know. I'm feeling fancy. Completely optional. The smoked salmon is already, you know, kind of a salty fish, you know, um, so you don't have to put anything on it. Um, and then of course the capers, you know, are like a pickle flavor. So you don't have to um, really do any seasoning at all. I'm trying to get this salmon off of here without manhandling it. Hold on. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go ahead and use it all up. I'm just gonna put little sheets, or not so little. So the smoked salmon is kind of like, you know, um, sliced very thin, so I'm just peeling it apart delicately. I don't really have to watch salt on my plan. That didn't come up, you know, on test results for me, but I do have to watch sugar. So if you have to watch sodium, then, um, Oh, hey, Uncle Stu, look at who's here. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. I was just chatting about you. You might have been here, but y'all know I get sidetracked. I'm just over here doing what I do. All right, so on our bagel, I'm just kind of layering the smoked salmon, just taking it off of the sheets and just kind of putting it down here. I'm doing a lot. Sometimes when you get these at, at a restaurant, they're kind of light on the salmon, but you guys know I... Um, I like to have about eight ounces of protein in my meals, which is kind of a lot, but um, it keeps me fuller. You know, it's good for skin, hair, and nails. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a home cook. But then also, you know, <laughs> I'm past the point of snapback. I'm 46, but, you know, it's good for your muscle tone and uh, just, it's just good for you. So almost done with the salmon. I'm just trying to like peel it apart. All right. So we've got a nice, healthy, mm, I'm getting excited. All right. So let me wash my hands. Taste a little bit of the salmon. Yeah, it's creamy, it's salty, it's smooth. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay elegant, y'all, but I get really excited about this food. We have some celebrities here today. Who's in here? Y'all are all family to me, but yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so again, we're making a smoked salmon bagel that I saw on Bon Appetit. We're using a cauliflower thin. Bolo TV, welcome, welcome. Um, cauliflower uh, sandwich thin. I can't have dairy, so I'm using uh, goat's cheese, chavri. If you can have dairy, use cream cheese. And then smoked salmon that I just got, you know, from the, um, I think from BJ's, one of the warehouse clubs. I'm trying to, I got to do a better job. I'm trying to remember this picture on the Bon Appetit thumbnail. I think from there, he just did the red onion. So we're just going to put a little bit of red onion. Um, I like onion, so I'm going to go with, you know, I'm going to be pretty liberal with it. Plus, I like the different colors. I'm trying to get, let's see. This is really good. I don't have slicing tomato because um, I'm recreating what I saw in Bon Appetit. But if you do like tomato, uh, and then I'm doing the capers, you can do um, a nice, like, beefsteak slicing tomato and, um, Put that on here and make like a proper like sandwich almost all right let me scrape up my capers i don't know if i'm gonna cut them next time because they're already small yeah and i can't remember all right so this is what we have uncle Stu. let me know if i'm doing a good job you told me to hold the food up longer so we've got uh red onion capers smoked salmon 
goat's cheese or cream cheese if you can have it, and a cauliflower thin or bagel if you can have it. And then I had, what did I do yesterday? I think I made some tea, I can't remember, from the lemons. So I've got a, um, just a lemon wedge that I'm going to just place on the side for now. I am going to squeeze it over, but I want to do that right before I eat it. So hold that thought. Bill wants a fruit cup, so we're going to make a fruit cup. Oh, hi. Okay, wonderful. So glad that you guys are here. Oh, y'all, I'm trying to... Hello, Bolo. And... Um, Hello everyone, y'all. I'm in here. My hands are in the middle of this food. Oh, CK, you saw my interview on Uncle Stu. Thank you. Y'all, I'm just like, this is really me cooking what I'm going to eat. So sometimes I'm not um, as on it posting the messages. Okay, good. Thank you. Uncle Stu is in the house. Fruit cup. Focus. All right. So I made this yesterday, but I'm gonna make it again because I like to uh, eat fruit with my meals. Fruits are my snacks. And I know some of you all, you know, for various reasons are trying to make uh, better choices. So um, for snacks, I don't eat granola bars and chips and all that stuff that I used to eat. Y'all have struggled with my weight um, my whole life. So in my 40s, I'm finally getting it together. Um, I ate all of that stuff on vacation, but it just, it, it's not going to like put out that hunger fire. I need something with substance. Okay. So I'm going to recreate a fruit dip. If you've ever bought a fruit tray and they have all the wonderful fruit inside, pineapple, watermelon, whatever, and they have that cup of like sugary yogurt in the middle that's like a dipping sauce, I'm going to show you how to make your own. All right. So this would be a great snack for kids or even for like snacking, you know, if you're going to do a movie night or whatever, that's fine. You know, make your popcorn and do all of that, um, but have some fruit on the side. This makes it a little bit special. Um, so if you can have dairy, Greek yogurt is really good, a plain yogurt. Um, the Greek yogurt is thicker and so again, it keeps you fuller longer. I can't have dairy, so this is what I'm using. This is Kite Hill. So this is a um, plant-based yogurt. Let's see what it is. And it's zero added sugar, so I always check the sugar. Almond milk, so almond milk and soy. I'm not sensitive to soy. I know some people try to avoid it, especially for young boys. But my boys are with their dad, so it's just me. All right. So what you can do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this yogurt. If you have the big Greek yogurt, you can use that too. Now the plant-based yogurts, I'm looking crazy because sometimes they're a little watery, I'm not gonna lie. So just be careful. And my kid always used to lick this um, and then I tell him, don't do that. And then I wanna do it. Why did I do that? Woo! Okay, again, this is unsweetened. So yeah, it's unsweetened. But here's the thing. These same um, skinny syrups that I used in my coffee, I'm gonna put a squirt of this inside the yogurt. Uh, I'm using vanilla, but I did one once. They have a white chocolate mocha syrup, which is zero sugar, zero calorie. It's a really concentrated burst of flavor. I had one that was white chocolate mocha, and I put it in plain yogurt and then dipped some strawberries. Get out. <laughs> All right, so just like that, and then you can see we have it in there, and then you need to stir. All right, <clears throat> so you just mix it together. This yogurt, um, it's not fruit on the bottom, but it is thicker on the bottom, so I'm just mixing it up. And then of course you wanna taste it, right? Mom taught me, taste your food as you're making it, as long as it's not raw, you know. Of course, if you're cooking for others, have a separate tasting spoon and get rid of it. But you don't want to just sit down and you put something together and you're like, yeah, that doesn't taste good. Taste it as you're putting it together. Oh my God, Seth, let me show you guys. I think I have it in my guest room. Um, I'm also an Airbnb hostess. I know, I have someone checking in this weekend, um, but I put it in the guest room. I'll go get it so you can see it.
I love hosting and, and you know, taking care of others. This is a little snack basket that I have in my guest suite. My home has an in-law suite that I rent out because my in-laws don't come here anymore. But we all get along. It's fine. All right. So this right here, the Jordan Skinny Syrups. This one is a little portable one. You can see here, I have a little Keurig in my guest room. You can tear off the top and then you can make smoothies or whatever. But this one, white chocolate mocha. I used this one day in some plain yogurt. Dip some strawberries in it. When I tell you it tasted like a chocolate covered strawberry, it was so good. So if I showed you guys my cart, let's see if I can wheel it over. I don't know if you can see this cart. These are all of my syrups, all of my flavored syrups. <laughs> another one in there here's one salted caramel all right I get off track but um there's lots of different flavors so experiment all right so we've got our yogurt here with vanilla let's taste mmm oh Woo! so good all right so for presentation Of course, you could just eat it just like this, plain. If you're eating yogurt, buy the zero sugar yogurt and add your own zero sugar um, sweetener. I'm gonna put it in a little glass. It's just a Pampered Chef, but any little ramekin or anything will do. We all eat with our eyes first. And so when I cook, even when I'm just making something for me, I only eat two meals a day. So I wanna enjoy them. And I want to look forward to eating because, you know, I cook for other people and they're just like, oh, so good. I want the same experience. Why should I have to suffer? <laughs> All right. So we've got our yogurt in a little uh, bowl. And I'm being greedy. Let's cut up our orange and then we're done. Hey, Pac-Man. <clears throat> We'll use the big cutting board. And again, I learned these cutting boards that have the ridges here. It is for anything that you're cutting that may drip out, like if I had chicken or a roast or whatever. All right, let's get the knife. Oh. I didn't unlock the dishwasher. All right, so this is a navel orange, so it's a little bit tricky to peel. I'm just gonna cut it in half. I know. All right, cut it in half again and then cut it into wedges. So if you don't have really good knife skills, that's fine. Cut in half and then cut that half in half. Simple. And always put the flat surface down to give you stability when cutting, um, especially, you know, if you're teaching kids in the kitchen too. All right. So now I'm just going to try and peel the pulp off of the I still get a little bit of this pithy stuff. If it were like a tangelo or something, it would peel better, but navel orange, a little bit tougher. So we'll be done in two seconds here. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm gonna get online and get started with my day. Uncle Stu revealed my actual <laughs> profession. I work in tech and I'm so grateful that I can work from home. So I'm in Zoom meetings all day, but being able to be home, I am happier and a lot healthier. I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to be um, elevated. This is what I'm working on right here. So half done. Yes. Thank you. Hit the likes. You see my, I'm going to have to wash my hands. Ugh. Thank you. Y'all, I just get in here and start cooking. Thank you. This is month three of Maggie, the substitute teacher. So I'm new at this. And so I forget sometimes all of our, you know, formalities. I just get in here and get excited and start cooking. Um, but yeah, pre-diabetic, elevated cholesterol, borderline blood pressure, and all of that is normal now 
with no medication just by changing uh, what I eat. So again, for anyone who's new here, I was tested for food sensitivities. All right, so we've got our orange slices here. I'm just going to do not like a proper chop, but just like in thirds. You want bite-sized pieces so that, um, you know, they just go in the mouth easier. But uh, I was tested for food sensitivities, which was a cheek swab and some hair samples. And I'm working with a metabolic specialist because, you know, I just thought I was big boned. I just thought I was a big girl. I believed the lie. And I saw someone at work who had lost weight. And like we all do, I asked her, oh, Belle, thank you. I know, right? Working from home, y'all. I've been corporate since college and I have had the two hour commute. I've had the big job with the big stress and all of that. And corporate America has done wonders for me, but at this stage of my life, I'm extremely happy. All right, washing my hands, we're gonna plate. So glad you guys are here in the morning. So many people are up late. I am a morning person. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my orange slices and I'm going to just put them all over my fruit dip, which we just made. This could be any fruit that you like. It could be berries. It could be um, strawberries. It could be blueberries. It could be apple slices. Um, I'm just gonna make a mountain of it. It's gonna be hard to get in there, but I'll power through it. Yes, at home is amazing. Look, I understand, and I'm so thankful for people who get out there, but at 46, I have given that corporate grind 20 years of ripping and running, and you know, I've got two boys in two different schools, and it's just, it was very stressful. All right, so this is our fruit cup. So this is um, almond yogurt for me, but for you, if you can have it, Greek yogurt, with the flavor syrup, sugar-free syrup of your choice. All right. So, gotta take my picture. So this is breakfast for me. So we've got our um, coffee with sugar-free vanilla, almond creamer. We've got our bagel, let me see. I know, right? I'm telling you. All right, y'all, I gotta. All right, so we've got our bagel. Oh, let me get a picture. Y'all know me, I just start eating. So I try to take pictures of everything that we make together in class and I put it up on YouTube on my community tab, um, but I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. I'm gonna make my way around to TikTok because that's where the kids say you're supposed to be and everything's happening, but y'all, one thing at a time, phone, okay. So I'm just taking a lot of pictures and then we'll do the taste test. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You like the picture? Yeah. The food? Yeah. Let me know, Uncle Stu, if I held it up long enough. So I just take lots of pictures. I have a friend who's a photographer and she just says, take lots of pictures. I take them from every angle, flash on, flash off. And um, then the best ones go on my page. But that's how this whole thing started, you know. Um, for anyone new here, I when I started my health and wellness journey, I would take uh, pictures of what I was eating. You know, my mom taught me how to cook. I didn't really have a choice. And, um, you know, in corporate, I used to manage a team, you know, for amenities and dining. And so I've worked with chefs and, you know, seen a lot of really great presentation. Plus I keep the cooking shows on. Instead of the news, I watch the cooking shows on mute and I get inspiration. All right, so let's try our fruit cup first. I made a mountain here. So again, this is what we made today. Now I'm going to squeeze, I'm gonna take these seeds out of the lemon so I don't get any seed in my bite. There's a way to cut it to avoid the seed. I'm gonna do it on one. I like lemon. But, all right, I'll just do it on both. All right, so this is what we have. 
to executive producer, absolutely. All right, so hopefully you guys can see here our yogurt with vanilla syrup, sugar-free, orange slices, just cubed, uh, cauliflower thin, goat cheese, substitute for cream cheese, smoked salmon, red onion, and capers. All right, so let's see. Thank you, Uncle Stu. Okay, I appreciate the feedback. I want to get better because he told me you would just hold up the food and then I'd be like, all right, I got to go. So I'm going to get better, you guys. All right, so we've got our fruit cup with our yogurt. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Y'all, it is so good. I mean... It is plant-based yogurt. If you can have the real thing, it'll be creamier. This is a little bit more watery, but it gives me that fruit dip feeling. Excellent snack for yourself, for the kids, even the dessert. All right, now, the piece de resistance. Let's try our bagel. I know, I do get excited, y'all. I really want to keep it together and be elegant, but I'm just like, ah! All right. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. Y'all. 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 The saltiness. I know. I know. The saltiness of the caper the fishiness of the salmon, the bite, the bitterness of the red onion, the creaminess, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> the creaminess of the goat's cheese or cream cheese if you could have it. I'm not missing, you know, it is thinner than a bagel, you know, the cauliflower thin, but it's really just a vehicle for all the yumminess, right? Mm. Mm. Greedy. Mm. 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 The only thing I know, I know y'all, keep it together, man. The only thing I would probably do different, I probably would have made the fruit cup first. And then, because I like that texture, that crunch, and then going, gone ahead and made my bagel while it was still warm and crispy. You know, when you have it, you know, sitting on a plate, it just kind of uh, softens a little bit and gets like uh, room temperature. The flavor is absolutely excellent. I know. <laughs> mm. 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 And I did do a little bit of the bagel seasoning but yeah, so this is breakfast today. I'm going to sit down and log on and get to work. I am so glad that you guys are here. Oh, thank you, thank you, Uncle Stu. I do, because if you guys saw my interview with Uncle Stu, you know, I come from an amazing family. My mom and dad were great. They're still with us, they're alive and well, you know, retired and loving life. But my family is all like average size. And so I was the chubby kid. I was the big girl. And I remember the family eating like all the yummy food. And then, you know, they meant well, but mom would have like a separate plate for me of kind of like bland food, you know, trying to be helpful. But I kind of developed this thing that you can't have food that you want to eat and it be healthy. I thought like healthy food was like crap food. Oh, you guys. Yeah, CK, you like your food with the steam? Yeah, I know someone too. He's like, you know, I like it, just pot still hopping. See, this is the thing. Thank you, Leanne. This is the thing. I um, If it were just me without the camera, I would make it and I would still eat it while it was hot. But as the teacher, as your substitute teacher, I want to explain everything. So if you're going to do this, make your fruit cup first because that can sit. Sorry, shouldn't be licking my fingers. Um, and then have all of your ingredients already prepped. Have your salmon out, have your red onion sliced, have your capers. You don't need to cut the capers. Just sprinkle them on there. Your bagel seasoning, 
get that uh, cauliflower crisp out. Smear your goat's cheese or cream cheese, put on the salmon, the red onion, sprinkle the paper, uh, capers, a squeeze of lemon, and eat it while it's still hot. Mmm. 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 <laughs> So, excellent. I don't eat smoked salmon often. It's a little treat, maybe once a week. I usually eat more of a white fish. I love the flavor. I do a really nice pan-seared salmon. We could do that with grilled asparagus one day. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I'm sorry. Okay, wrap it up, Maggie. So, for lunch today, I saw a recipe on Tastemade I'm going to recreate. They call it express chicken. I know, right? <laughs> they call it express chicken, but um, it's really like a honey mustard chicken. They use raw chicken and cook it. Y'all saw that I have that rotisserie chicken that we did yesterday for the California Pizza Kitchen. So I'm just gonna use the chicken breast in the um, from the rotisserie. I'm gonna make an easy <clears throat> honey mustard sauce. I'll show you how to do that. Put a few seasonings in there, stir it up, and um, they serve theirs over rice. I can't have rice, so I'm going to do cauliflower rice. Cauliflower is a great vegetable substitute for a lot of starches. So we're going to make that, and the thumbnail should already be up on YouTube and Facebook, and that'll be noon today. I'll have a break between meetings. Mm. So smoked salmon bagel was a hit, fruit cup with um, yogurt mm. and coffee with a zero sugar creamer, sweetener, and almond cream. Sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. So I'm going to let you all be free and enjoy the rest of your morning. And um, I'm on the Eastern time. So, well, Whatever, the thumbnail will, I think, adjust for your time zone. So you should see a posting for me. I'll try and do a better job about planning my meals. Sometimes I just get inspired and I'm like, come on, let's cook. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate this community that we're creating of those of us who like to eat. And of course, want to age gracefully. Um, and you know, whether you just want to get healthy or have some new inspiration for recipe ideas for yourself or for family, um, or, you know, you're struggling with weight like me and you need to get the weight off. Um, I'm here for all of it. You're so welcome. All right, you guys. So Instagram, thank you. We'll see you at noon and Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you. I'll see you guys at noon. Bye.